Okay, so a third video of Mario Golf World Tour. Didn't think, well, I was doubtful I would make a third one <laughs> after the way I felt uh, doing the second one. But that's fine. I'm putting that behind me. <laughs> anyway, so what I didn't do previously this game did have DLC. Um, the DLC that they released on this game were remastered versions of the Mario Golf 64 courses. And obviously I've played a lot of Mario Golf 64. Um, <laughs> probably more than any other Mario Golf game. So why not like let's play through these and see how good they are because I'm sure I did that once a long time ago but it's, it's been such a long time since I played this game properly that like I may as well do it now I play quite a lot of Mario Golf 64 at the moment so I've got the courses in my mind let's uh, have a play of these and compare them, I guess. We start off with the classic Toad Highlands. Hi. Yeah, it looks pretty similar to the Nintendo 64, except uh, obviously less jagged polygons <laughs> and the uh, ground isn't all pixelated because it's not just like a, a single image that she used to define all of the ground types. Which is obviously nice, like it's nice to play it looking all smooth. I think that just barely went in. So in terms of the aesthetics, they're quite good. Uh, quite fitting for the course. Obviously on the N64 it's like difficult to actually do anything with the aesthetics I guess. Because all they really had to work with was like assigning different colours and patterns to the ground types. And then like some 2D graphics in the the sky box nice but the the actual holes seem quite faithful so far I'm like the layout looks pretty much exact to uh, at least in terms of the ground. I'm, I don't think all the trees. The trees are slightly different and may not be placed. Oh, I don't know. They're definitely not placed the same way. But uh, like the layout of the ground looks pretty much 
identical. Nice shot. Nice on. Pretty. Oh no, I missed nice a birdie pop. on Toad Highlands. I'm interested to see if this Good hole job. is any easier in this game. <laughs> hole 7 is one of the most difficult ones. In Mario Golf 64. Just because you have, like, you don't have as many options to control your shot in that game as you do in the later ones. Since they didn't have top spin, back spin. This was another of the more difficult ones with the Mario Golf 64 mechanics. It could be difficult to land on the screen sometimes. Particularly with the weaker characters in that game because they could barely reach. Like if you didn't get good conditions. Music seems pretty much like nice identical, bird. just with higher quality instrument samples, which is nice. <laughs> Hole 11, also one of the very difficult ones. It can be quite difficult to stick the screen. One's a relatively short par five. <laughs> not not doing so good on the putting right now. I'm missing quite a few of these parts, which I shouldn't. This one is not a not such a simple par three, just because it's uphill. Missing these easy cuts. Good shot. 
Tripa. Okay. Would have to say the greens are probably quite a bit more sloped in these courses compared to the World Tour ones. One of the worst pin locations. <laughs> Overall, it's uh, quite faithful. Oh no, I did the play again thing. <laughs> uh, quite a faithful recreation of the original course. Why did they put like play again as the first option? Anyway, on to Cooper Park, which may be my least favorite of the <laughs> original. I do like the giant Cooper. <laughs> Birdie Puff. 
birdie. Rain. <laughs> Keep forgetting rain even exists because it seems to be so infrequent in this game. much as I didn't really like Cooper Park in the original game for some reason. Uh, the music is really chill. Doing well so far. It stopped raining now, which is good. <laughs> this particular hole looks very different to me. I think it's still like laid out the same but because of the huge trees uh, it's just like visually Good shot. Nice huh? Birdie. it seems a lot different okay. Same with this one, like the the trees encroach more on the fairway than they did on the N64. Good shot. Nice on. But then the N64 trees were literally 2D graphics. Doing really good so far on this course. I think I definitely prefer this version of Cooper Park. Although I don't know how much of a fair comparison it is. Good shot. 
Um, anyway, it's just that this version's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. But then you could argue that wasn't really possible on the Nintendo 64. Green. have to go for it. <laughs> I don't think that... Is it going to make it? No, not quite. Slightly more difficult than the Nintendo 64 version. It's not one that I would expect to get a power on normally. Ah yeah, hole 15. <laughs> Everyone's favourite hole. Hole 15 is well known for ending many a speedrun because if you play as the weaker characters, like in a new game category, if you get unfavorable wind or rain, it can be literally impossible to make the green in two shots. Which, if you need to get birdie badges, that's a very bad thing. this big Koopa statue <laughs> on the way to the green. That's that's interesting. 
That was nice. I liked the the aesthetics on this course a lot actually. Like the huge trees and everything. Okay, so now instead of Shy Guy Desert we've got Layer Cake Desert. Which I don't really understand, but okay. I guess it's a uh, like a new Super Mario Brothers thing. It was probably a, a level or a world in a new Super Mario Brothers game. Good shot. Thirty five. The aesthetics are quite a bit different it seems, like we've got palm trees and the uh, like moai type statues compared to N64 which was just cacti and shy guy cacti if you played the Japanese version. So here they've replaced the rocks with like <laughs> ice cream cones or something. Which is an interesting choice. But don't think I'm gonna get 18 birdies on any of these courses, unfortunately.
30 pounds. Narrow, I rolled down this. That's like the worst thing to ever happen in Mario Golf 64. That ball would be rolling for like a year. Didn't hit it hard enough to get up the slope. Nice part. Oh my god, I think I just had like a cosmic brain moment. When I say cosmic brain, I mean... I somehow didn't realise, but... <laughs> I think layer cake desert is meant to be a pun on like dessert. Because the words look similar. Nice shot. Nice shot. I never considered that until like just now. Nice <laughs> I don't know if I should feel smart or the opposite. It was probably incredibly obvious to everyone else, but not to me. Good shot. Birdie putt. I definitely think these greens are more difficult than the, the World Tour ones. But I think it's because they slope more consistently. <laughs> so pretty much wherever you land on the green you're gonna have to deal with some kind of slope. Whereas in, in like the World Tour ones there's a lot of flat areas on the green. So you can often just get like a flat putt. Even on the more difficult courses. There's still one thing that I haven't got right in this game, which is uphill putting. I'm not hitting it hard enough. And I haven't been, like, during my whole playthrough of this game. Didn't hit hard enough, but even if I did, I think I underplayed the break anyway. This one is a nightmare on N64. Because you just go way further than you expect to every time. I think this is actually, like, relatively flat for once. Nice birdie. 
And this looks cool with like the pokies. Oh, I like the look of this actually, with like the flowing sand, or whatever it is, maybe it's sugar or something. Final hole of the first three courses. Not such a good shot. Rather embarrassing. <laughs> that wasn't much better. Should do better than minus 11, I think. Okay. So I always would usually say um, in Mario Golf 64, it becomes way more difficult after the third course. Like the difficulty just goes right up. And it doesn't come back down, it just gets worse. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see if that's reflected in these courses. Also, this is also a really good piece of music from Mario Golf. Already missing. Far. So I definitely like the aesthetics on this one. Um, they've like cut off the edges of the course and put more water there. As if Yoshi's Island needed more water, but um. Good shot. Excellent. Birdie putt. I don't think it's necessarily something they couldn't have done on the Nintendo 64, but uh, they really tried their best to reduce lag on the Nintendo 64 version. And in Yoshi's Island, they still didn't really succeed very, very well. So most likely, they avoided putting water in a few more places for that reason. Nice shot! Chip in! Nice! 
nice bird. This is one of the ones where, well there are a few holes like this on this course, um, I want to call it Yoshi's Island but it's not Yoshi's Island in this game. But they're just like straight uphill. And there are several characters in Mario Golf 64 who just couldn't really deal with going uphill because they shot too low. Characters like Plum or Donkey Kong. Like, it's not impossible, but they would struggle with certain holes on this course. One thing that I definitely do miss is like the giant fruits <laughs> that were around the course on the N64. Oh, they've added an extra fairway down here. That's interesting. I don't need that, obviously. <laughs> More than happy to play into the rough towards the green. Good shot. Nice approach. Birdie putt. One fun fact about Yoshi's Island on the N64. Is that I think everybody hates rain on that course because rain will make it lag on pretty much any hole. But everybody hates the rain so much that there's like this confirmation bias that the probability of rain is higher on Yoshi's Island but it's actually not it's still one in four chance like it is on every other course but just because rain is so annoying on this course in particular feels like everyone um, like there's a rumor that it, it's more frequent or, or the chance of getting rain is higher on Yoshi's Island just because it's so much more annoying so that when you see it you notice it more than you do on other courses but I have confirmed from reading the code that it is it's it's one quarter or 25% chance for rain on every course in Mario Golf 64, apart from Shy Guy Desert, which has a 1 in 16 chance. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice one. Huh? 30. 
trampa. Birdie. I don't know if it's just me or if the the holes are slightly shorter in this than they were on the N64. Feels like I don't need so much power to reach the greens. Good shot. Nice on. Birdie putt. I haven't really been paying attention to how uh, how far each of the holes is, or the length of them. You don't want to get in this bunker, like, ever. <laughs> Always avoid that bunker. One of the worst places you can possibly go. <laughs> I almost went into it. <laughs> At least on the N64, because the, uh... The, the, like, gradient on the edge of the bunker is so steep that it's, it's basically impossible to get out if you get stuck in the wrong place. You have basically no choice but to turn around and shoot in the other direction. Ah yes, the Pokeball hole. didn't go so well. Bogey. I'm disappointed. I like the look of this hole. With the water around the sides it looks really good. <laughs> Just about in the semi-rough but not the uh, full rough. Was not a good shot game. Not going to make it. Didn't hit it hard enough.
still struggling with these uphill putts every time. Is the shortcut still there? Yes. But I don't think I can really take that. No, I clicked on play again, again. Huh? Why, why would that be the top option? That just seems so unintuitive to me. This is Rock Candy Mines, which used to be Boo Valley. So I'm curious to see how it can be a mine when Boo Valley was like up in the clouds. But we will find out. Because this doesn't really look like a mine, it doesn't seem to be underground. Or at least that's what I'd expect from a mine. Again, I level with some very, very chill music. What's my favourite course in Mario Golf 64, so I'm hoping it lives up to that in this game. So you sure what I think of the aesthetics? Good shot. Nice on. Birdie pup. Nice 
security phone. Couldn't even see the hole there. Kind of missing the uh, mushrooms that they had on Boo Valley. Whereas here we've just got some weird looking plants. Uh, it's totally not safe to go for this shot, is it? I feel like I have to do it. Yeah, that was always going to happen. Good shot. Nice shot. It's missing like the obstacles down here. The screen was protected by mushrooms before. Kind of unfortunate because it means there's no like there's less risk reward for going for the difficult shots. Good shot. Nice on. Thirty. Uphill parts again. Huh? Knees hit much harder. Horrible. I went out of bounds once because I <laughs> uh, I went for a shot I should not have gone for.
Good shot. Nice on. Birdie putt. Nice birdie. Oh, got some rain. Do I trust this shot? <laughs> Maybe. Good shot. If I didn't nice miss hit it so much. Though it doesn't seem to be very punishing in this game to miss hit your shots quite badly. a very difficult par 3 in 64. Nice shot. Nice off. 30. Interesting. They've added like some rock walls there. Where previously there were the weird tree things uh, that would block you off in the green. But this is one of the greens that like lots of weaker characters could even make this green. I have to play the simple shot. Where is the simple <laughs> shot? So I think it's a bit more difficult to take that route to the green in this game. Good 
shop. Well, it wasn't great. <laughs> oh, minus seven there. That would have been enough to win the tournament <laughs> in Mario Golf 64. Okay, change course this time. There's just one more left to play. And I've heard that this one is a bit different. Yeah, this does look a bit different. Normally you'd be able to drive the green uh, pretty easily on 64. This even has different music. See how many birdies I can get. Wow, this is different, but this is actually really cool. I like this one so far. Not quite sure what this music is supposed to be there. Nice park. Should have hit a bit harder. Okay, this one looks easier. Hole isn't surrounded by bunker like it was. So I want to try and get minus 9, because that would have been the tournament winning score on N64 version. This is like a completely different angle for this hole. Good 
shot. Nice song. Birdie puzzle. Okay. Birdie. Where am I aiming? Okay, I guess I'm just playing from the rock now. Certainly interesting to see how they've completely changed this course while keeping like the same kind of themes. <laughs> I think it's incredibly ill-advised to try and go across the rocks. So I was very close to going for it. Trying to top spin out of the rough, not into it. Not going so well in hole nine. Never is. Good shot. Oh. Okay. Not the end of the world. Heavy rough. What? Why am I aiming? This is not good.
bogey. It's only a bogey. It's fine. I just want five birdies now. Not quite good enough. Can I birdie the remaining three holes? Please. Good shot. Nice on. Birdie. Okay, this green looks super horrible. I don't think I'm getting the minus nine. to get an eagle in this last hole. It's not going to happen.
couldn't even stay on the fairway. So, no. I'm confused, is that pin literally in the bunker? Because that's what it looks like. Wait, no, that's not bunker, that's the green. Okay, I ruined that. getting plus 15% putting out of the rough which eh, doesn't <laughs> doesn't really make sense to me but okay Double bogey. okay this course was very difficult which is nice it's like they took the original Mario star and somehow made it even worse. Like worse difficulty wise. Okay, so those were the Mario Golf 64 DLC courses. I have now played them all. And I don't know, they're different. There are things that I like more about the N64 ones. Um, obviously because this is a newer game. They're a lot more smooth in this game. No jagged polygons, no like pixelated textures everywhere. Which is a good thing. But it's not like you can really fault the N64 game for being like that because it's like that out of necessity. <laughs> um, it's really hard for me to make the comparison because it just feels very, very different playing them in this game. I just they're just different. They're good in both games. I certainly like the aesthetics on Cooper Park and Yoshi's Island. Um, Mario Star looked great but that was almost like a completely different course to me. So I couldn't really compare that one at all to the N64 version. But yeah. Anyway, I think this is all I'm gonna do with World Tour for now, at least for videos that I'll be uploading. Maybe I'll go back and play some more of the challenges. I don't really know. Um, I Like I mentioned before, I, I'm struggling with motivation for this game, which is sad because it, it's got some really good courses, it's just it doesn't seem to motivate me to play it because the challenges aren't very interesting and there's really not much else to do that I can see unless I've just completely missed something which of course is possible so yeah I think I'll be wrapping up uh, Mario Golf World Tour for now I may have some more things planned for this game, but not a casual playthrough that I'll be uploading to YouTube. We will have to see, because this after all is the month of Mario Golf before Super Rush comes out, and I do have some things that I... some top secret plans that I may be doing 
in the coming future. So keep an eye out because I may be playing this game again in the not too distant future. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and hope you enjoy the rest of your days. See you in a future video.